Hi everyone, CFL Park Popper here, and today I'm at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. I'm here to check out the resort and see if this is somewhere you would want to stay on your next trip. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're going to start off our tour inside the Grand Destino Tower. This tower is new, or recently new. It opened in July of 2019. And then, of course, you know, the resort shut down last March and was closed, I think, um, until maybe October of this past year. So the tower is very, very new. Um, and I've only been inside of it once. So I'm excited to go back in and check it back out. All right, so check this out. I'm on the ground floor of the tower. And look at this lobby. It's just beautiful. Great place to sit. They do have a bar here. It's not open. Um, I don't know if that's because of COVID or if it's just too early yet for it. But this is just a nice seating area in general. And very beautiful look. Check out the art on the walls. So awesome. Check out this one over here. Very cool. All right, now we're gonna head up these stairs and this is where the main check-in desk is. Check out the look of this lobby. It's just beautiful. I love the look. Here's where we just were. And this looks out over the lake and the whole resort is behind it. This over here would be the main entrance where you pull up with your car. If you're checking in. They have the Dahlia Lounge, which is open from 5 p.m. until midnight. They also have a restaurant upstairs on that 16th floor, but it is not currently open and I can't wait for it to open again. They also have uh, the Barcelona Lounge. I guess that's where we were downstairs, I think. Oh yeah, that's open for breakfast, I guess. 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., okay. And we're gonna check out some of these other restaurants as well and walk around the resort and even check out a room. So let's get going. All right, so this is inside of one of the Coronado rooms. Check out the little Mickey towel welcome. That's pretty cute. And this is two uh, queen size beds. And then you have the bathroom over here, double sinks. So that's nice. Lots of cabinet space and closet. Pretty spacious for hanging stuff, for putting supplies down below. We've already put some of our stuff away. Here's the bathroom. It's a little bit more spacious. I filmed, um, the Coronado or the Caribbean Beach I'm sorry uh, recently I'm trying to find the light <laughs> there we go there we go and that bathroom seems small and that was a renovated room as well this seems more spacious to me a little bit more width in here um, nice shower check out the shower heads so pretty cool and all of them always come with the H2O shampoo and conditioner and soap which is pretty good stuff and then over here you have a really long counter um, you could plug in a lot of stuff like phones and uh, computer tablets, all kinds of stuff. Big flat screen TV, lots of drawer space, desk space. Um, the Coronado, like I said, is typically a, uh, it's a convention resort. So, you know, if you were coming here and needed to work while you were here, you could definitely do that. And check out the Keurig. That's pretty cool as well. So, and we have a nice view. Oh, uh, here's Lake View. And right over here is the main pool. Right there is the main pool. So pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna head out and check out the rest of the resort. All right, so we're back outside of the room and we're facing the tower, which is where we started the video. And But the rooms that we're in now are these smaller um, buildings and these are called the cabanas. And uh, this is just a beautiful property. So there's four different um, areas that you can stay in. So the cabanas is one, the towers is another. The building area next to the towers is the food court area and convention center area. Um, and then over here, this tree area, this is where their main pool is. And there are also side pools um, around for each area, like the cabanas is here. And then we're gonna walk around and see what the other um, living spaces are like but the property here is so quiet and beautiful check out like these hammocks you can sit in and just relax on this little lake um, it is a more spread out property being a moderate resort all of the moderate resorts are are big so keep that in mind but I what I do like about this resort is it's a little bit more grown up in style um, and some people don't like that because they want to have you know that Disney theming 
especially you know if they have young kids or they just enjoy that and when they come to this resort some people say like it just doesn't feel like Disney but I to me it's Disney um, it's just a pretty elegant style of Disney but it's beautiful and just imagine like at night when the lights are on on the bridge and how pretty that would be so of course you know like I said originally you can choose to be in a tower room we are here in the cabanas and then we're just gonna keep walking the path here's the sign the rancheros are in the back the casitas are like due across from us so we're gonna see those as well we're just gonna do the whole loop but this is the dig site pool which is the main pool here in the middle and they have a water slide and it's a pretty big pool all right and I'm coming around the corner and already now we're in the more the rancheros which this reminds me you know of like more southwest looking architecture and the plant life I can already see some like cactus type plants up ahead I like this area back here these rancheros I just like the theming the rocks the plants and they have their own little private pool back here too so again each little area where we are staying in the cabanas they have a small pool um, but we're, our room is pretty close to the main pool so we've been using that one but um, you know the quieter pools are kind of fun too if you're just really looking for something relaxing And now like this area is probably the the very back of the resort uh, but keep in mind that there's a bus stop for each area so there are four bus stops in this resort one up at the front where the tower is and then one by the casitas which we haven't walked past yet one back here the bus stops would be back here towards the parking areas and then one back by where we're staying at the cabanas so you don't have to walk that far to get to buses um, to go to the theme parks However, all of the food locations are gonna be up at the front. So if you're staying way back here, you are gonna to have to walk for food. And they do have a food court up in that main building as well as a couple restaurants. All right, so we're kind of coming back towards, looking back at the front of the resort, but we are at the very back, coming from the Rancheros. And I'm going to turn and go down this bridge, and that's going to take us to the last section of rooms, which is the casitas, which are these buildings over here. But straight in front of us is a building that's called the Three Bridges Bar and Grill Restaurant. And so I could just keep walking up the path here and go onto that bridge and be at that restaurant. Also, I keep walking along this path. I'll come back up to the pool again, the main pool in the middle. And here's a map. I'm going to show you guys the map of the resort as well to give you a better idea. So the, the dig site is here in the middle. That's the big pool, the main pool. Here's the tower. This is where we came in. We started our walking tour in the cabanas. That's where I showed you the inside of the room. And then we just came through the rancheros in the back over here. And now we are right here on the map and we're headed this way towards the casitas and then we're gonna end up back at the front, the El Centro. So I'm gonna show you some of the restaurants that they have. Okay, and again, as you see the big convention center. So this is a convention center resort. And you know, conventions aren't really going on right now, but this is a resort, this is a resort where, you know, families can come. If, if, if uh, someone has a convention, the rest of the family can come and stay as well and be doing Disney. Um, but you know, it's a little bit more of a grown up looking resort, like I said, and I think, some people don't like that. They think, oh, I don't want to stay there. But, you know, we don't have kids with us on our stay. So for us, it's nice and quiet and more adult. I would highly suggest this if you're looking for like a good honeymoon or a couple vacation. This I could see this resort being great for that. And even with kids, we saw many kids at the main pool. So there are many families staying here. And it's a great resort, I think. Uh, it's a nice moderate. Out of if I had to compare this with Caribbean Beach, which I stayed there a few months ago, I would definitely pick this over Caribbean Beach. The only draw to me for Caribbean Beach was honestly the Skyliner. Then that's just my personal opinion. Um, but you know, it was nice to have the Skyliner, but I just, I really wasn't happy with our room. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, the food options there are okay, but I didn't enjoy it that much either. However, here, I really like the rooms a lot more. Yes, it's buses to everything, um, but I don't mind that. So I think it's gonna be personal preference um, on, you know, if you're trying to decide which moderate is better. 
And right now the other two moderates, which are the Port Orleans Riverside and French Quarter, they're not quite open yet. I'm not sure when they're gonna reopen from COVID. So, but once they do reopen, I'll go over and check those out as well. But these are the casitas. So these buildings are much more connected and they're three floors, it looks like. A little fountain in the middle is cute. So where the uh, rancheros and the cabanas are more individual buildings. And here's our view. We're getting closer to the Three Bridges Bar and Grill restaurant, which is open. This here in the middle is open. And there you can see the main pool across the bridge. That's it there, called the dig site. So it really isn't that bad of a walk. Um, I started out leaving my room and I've probably been walking for about eight minutes. And I'm almost to the front where the food is. The food court is over there. And I could just cut across. So let's, in fact, maybe let's just do that. Because you can see the rest of the way is going to be the rest of the casitas. It looks like their little small pool is over here. Right in this area. Right there would be the small pool for the casitas. Um, so let's just head down there and cut through the bridge. So if I was staying in the casitas, I could just cross this bridge to get over to the pool. So everything is pretty accessible. Even though it's a large resort, there's paths to cut across um, to get to the different things you're trying to get to. Again, the furthest away would be the Rancheros way back there. You'd have to come down all this way because here's the food court, we're about halfway. But again, that would probably be a five minute walk total. It wouldn't be too bad. So here's the Three Bridges Bar and Grill restaurant. I'm gonna show you the um, menu. It's so they have some sandwiches and salads. And they have some cocktails and drinks. So it's a smaller menu. But it's pretty nice in here. And check out the outdoor seating. So if you're looking for something light to eat, it'd be kind of fun to come here. Right, let's head down and check out the main food court. All right, so we're inside and we're headed down to the food court. So it's called El Mercado de Coronado. And let me see. So it looks like you can come in and then they have little stations in the back with different things. They have some cold stuff right over here at the beginning. Some salads and sandwiches and fruit, drinks, kinds of stuff like that. They even have cereal and granola bars and stuff like for the morning. Some chips and snacks and cookies you could take to your room. And then they have hot food all ready to pick up. They have nachos all ready to go. They have kids meals ready to go. Cheeseburgers, Philly cheesesteak, chicken tenders, Beyond Burgers, pizza in the back and sweets over here. So everything's ready and fresh, ready to go. All pre-packaged. This is the quick service area and nice open space to dine in for sure it's pretty right outside of the food court is the Rick's sports bar and grill and here is their menu right here on the wall so they serve breakfast here just as a thing to know sit down breakfast you can also do takeout orders by scanning this little QR code the food court would also have breakfast I was waiting to see the dinner menu breakfast from 7 to 10 30 and then they have lunch and dinner from 11 to 11. let's see what's on the they have soup and salad they have philly cheesesteak california chicken sandwich fried chicken tender basket cheeseburger so a lot of the same stuff is in the quick service only you can sit down inside so i guess if you're just looking more for sitting down in here that would be an option they also have a little restaurant out at the pool called Siestas. So that's back at the dig site pool as well. Mm -hmm. Guys, now that we're back outside, here's one last overview of the resort. So here's the tower right here at the front. And then over here are the cabanas, the dig site pool. See the big Mayan pyramid that's inside of the pool. The Three Bridges Bar and Grill, this Villa del la de Lago restaurant. And behind it, well, back here are the ranchero buildings and over here are the casitas so this is the lovely coronado springs resort i hope you like today's video um i would definitely 
come and stay here again. I would highly recommend it. Um, if you are coming here with families or just adults, I think either one, it's a great resort. So maybe you wanna stay here on your next visit. If you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video, which is usually once a week. Thanks for watching.